Hi, well, I'm here with Barney Howard. Barney, it's good good to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. And uh, uh, people in St. Chad's won't know who you are or anything about you, but um, one of the reasons for interviewing you is that you've just accepted the post with Hope Central to, to work at the debt centre that we've been we've been sort of praying for and hoping to open up. Uh, and it's got the brand title now of the North East Cheshire Debt Centre, and you're the manager of it. Um, and just literally taken on in the last few weeks. Um, so you haven't had your training yet and, and stuff. But I thought it'd be great for us to meet you and to find out about you and uh, a little bit of your story. So uh, thanks for doing the interview. But tell us a bit about yourself. Uh, where are you? What have you done? How come you've ended up with us? <laughs> <laughs> so yeah um i'm barney i'm originally from oxford um and that is where i'm currently at at the moment i've um i'm 23 so i've just graduated from my undergraduate in french and arabic in manchester um and i've started a part-time master's in interpreting and translation studies um and i've moved back in with my parents just whilst covid's happening and everything which is not how i anticipated um 2020 21 going but here we are. Um, so yeah, and I'm really excited to be coming back up to the north. Um. <laughs> ah, good, good, good to hear. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Tell us a bit about your story, um, about your Christian story, about your faith. Uh, how did you become a Christian? Uh, and, and yeah, yeah. So I've always grown up in a Christian family. I went to a very um, Christian school. So kind of up until I was around 16, I was very surrounded by Christianity. Uh, my parents led a church for a while, so I was almost in my own Christian bubble and um, gave my life um, to God when I was quite young. Um, although to, that must be said that it was mainly to get the cool looking leaflet that you got. and the. <laughs> but it was kind of from that point onwards that my faith really grew into itself and it became my own thing rather than something I kind of inherited off my parents. Mm. Um, so I went to a, a state um, sick form and then went off to do an internship in Manchester in youth work. Um, and you kind of got out of this bubble and um, was kind of growing in my faith, but also realizing that um, the world's a pretty tough place and there's a lot going on, a lot of hurt. And I think something which really stuck out to me was the hope that um, you have in God. And when you look at life without those kind of kingdom glasses, as it were, you're kind of just seeing what is there and it's pretty bleak. Um, but it's knowing that there's so much more to life than what you see. Um, in my first year of university, it was a very tricky time. Uh, there was a lot going on. I had some uh, mental health issues myself and then it was a, a long journey through that of rediscovering who God was rediscovering him as a, a loving father who was for me and always with me and who was like celebrating with me in those moments but also crying with me in other moments and mm. knowing that hope of someone who's always with me and someone who has been through that with me um, is something that I've always clung on to um, through my university career up until this moment Oh, fantastic. God is good, isn't he? And uh, he's obviously been shaping you and training you uh, so far and will continue to uh, and walking with you. Um, so how come you heard about this job and, uh, you know, how come you've ended up applying for it and taking this, this job back in the north? So it's um it's kind of a crazy story. So I've been looking to get back up to Manchester. I love Manchester and the whole kind of area of Cheshire. Um, and I've been I was working at a pub down here, um, not really enjoying it. Um, and I was getting a bit pretty frustrated with my job hunt. And so was at a quiz and kind of took over. It was a Zoom quiz. We've all been there. Took over and said, right, the next round is find me a job. If anyone's got a job, find me up. Oh, joking not expecting anything of it but someone else um emailed someone who then emailed me and talked about this job and one thing led to another and here i am with the job so wow. <laughs> yeah that is quite a story so uh, so you were interviewed a few weeks ago and uh, mm -hmm. uh, accepted the job and we're, we're delighted um and, and it is early days you're still in oxford uh, what happens next in this process so from the 15th of March, I will start my training, which will last until early May. 
um, everything from trying to work with um, partners in and referrals, but then also the whole debt process and freeing people from debt and everything that comes along with that. So it's a pretty intense two months it's going to be. Um, and whilst that, trying to build up a team of people working with me as befrienders, but also working with uh, referral agencies within um, the kind of Northeast Cheshire area. Mm. Um, and then I will start seeing clients depending in person or on Zoom um, or over the phone yeah. from mid-May. Right. Wow. But your, your sort of ultimate hope is to, to move back up north and so it could be in situ here yep so i'm planning to move up within the next few months um things have been coming together in the past few weeks with that so um yeah i'm just relying on god that everything's going to fit into place <laughs> fantastic fantastic and you know what's your vision what, what would you love to see happen through this work it's a very good question i think there's the word mission often gets thrown around within church and um i think um it's kind of just seeing what god's doing already and then partnering in with what he's doing in his vision and that is something that i'm really looking forward to that whenever i go into someone's house just seeing what god's doing and then partnering with that whether it's bringing hope to people um practically through like debt um elimination or whether it's through the um the amazing Christian message of hope um, through which Hope Central is called um, mm -hmm. and being able to bring light to these people and these communities. Um, I think that's going to be a really inspirational and beautiful thing to partner with that. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Fantastic. Um, now, there must be lots of things we can be praying for you. Um, lots of practical things as well as I'm sure spiritual things what what sort of things can we be praying for you as a, as a sort of church and as a community um I'm so appreciative of any prayer um I suppose prayer that the training all goes well that it sinks in um it, I've looked at all the topics and it can seem quite overwhelming but yeah prayer for that but also prayer and all the practicalities of moving back up to Manchester um relocating isn't easy in without a pandemic going on so um <laughs> that yeah. all fits into place that would be great um just kind of the ease of settling back in yeah yeah i'm sure I'm sure well we'll pray about that for certain um bonnie it's really great to meet you and uh, we had a good long chat before i did this interview so i really enjoyed meeting you but uh, we look forward to seeing you in person at some point uh, oh can't wait for that day <laughs> <laughs> um but if necessary we can do another chat by a screen sometime but Thanks for spending some time with us and thanks for uh, taking the role on and we look forward to seeing you again. All right. Thank you very much. Take care. Thanks.